All right, welcome to the motherfucking podcast here on Blue Your Soul. We're here with Botanic Threads and Illusion Luna. Now, Botanic Threads recently dropped a single called Sluggas, and Illusion Luna recently, within the past, let's say, like, month or so, dropped Texas Tyrant, an amazing project, highly anticipated by the underground, lots of features, including one from uh, Kush Costa, and also his debut project that was a that was a banger we'll be talking about that later in the show but first i want to ask uh botanic threads um what went into sluggas and how did you start to work with um lake latte um <laughs> latte. um right. so lake how did y'all meet lake was it wasn't it through a tiktok or something i guess i'll take this one lake and his cousin slug they're from Oh, his wife and butch, that's what I'm saying. Lake and Slug, they're from, um, they're from, they're from near us, and they found me on TikTok, and they're like, let's throw a show, and I was like, I right, bet. So we did the show, and then we just started hanging out on some friendship, and then Lake was just here one day, and then I'm not gonna tell the story, but basically that beat was just played, and they're just, I'm just like, fuck it, we just started flowing to it, so then we just went with it, recorded that night, finished it, uh, mixed it, and Honestly, some of my hardest shit, I feel like. You sound, I mean, I said this in the reaction, but you sound very fucking, de- like, dehydrated. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I actually get that a lot. Fucking, um, what is it? A few of my songs just absolutely screaming. It feels like, it sounds like my throat is just absolutely Man. fucked. Um, in reality, like, the first couple times I did it, I spoke weird for like a day but now i it doesn't even affect me yeah because how often i do it and how many takes that i do you get used to it really quick bro yeah but recording's hard at first and then yeah i was three layers layers. uh it was was three three or four that's three or four i mixed it so i i should remember yeah Nah, I spit that shit. I should remember. And, um, so the beat was very like uh, I'd say it was more like witch housey. You know what I'm saying? It's like what what type of style? I was, was getting that's that? that's the vibe that like goes for with all of his shit pretty much. Uh, and I'm like you know what? Fuck it. I've never hopped on a beat like this before. I'm just going, and I did. Yeah, glaze my eyes like a motherfucker. Glaze my eyes like a motherfucker. Grump it. That shit was, bro. I said that shit as a joke, and then I actually kind of like write it out. Yeah, it was definitely, definitely a great chat because you have a lot of like uh, diversity in your discography. Um, I do want to ask about you did like one boom bap track, old school sounding. Yeah, Uh, life and death. Yeah, would you say you Mm -hmm. have more of them coming up, or is that just like a? one time thing once in a while thing life and death uh the boom bab shit that's what i wanted to start with and that's what i wanted to start branching out in but so many people that i talk to like anyone that's listening to my music always says my harder shit is what they like better so to be honest i think i would just keep doing me keep doing a mix of whatever the fuck i want you know yeah like i'm not sticking to a genre i just do whatever the fuck i want yeah, because it, cause it, like, it tests your, like, limits and your ability as an artist. Yeah. You, you, like, yeah. like, you can't just make the same shit all the time or else it's just, like, uh, it's uh, it, it's not, like, that much talented if you do, like, one style the whole time. If you do a bunch of different styles, it, like, tests your, like, uh, like skills and shit like that, for sure. Yeah. Batman's cool, though. Like, you got all these different like, sounds. Yeah. Like, like, there's that one trap metal song, too bunch of other ones so like um like when you started you know what i mean making songs like uh like how did you find your voice and your like style of vocals like when you got started was it just like immediately or did you like have to kind of grow into oh god it? no hell no bro um see we we told this story last time and how i um i came over here i like made a verse whatever it was it, it sounded hard but I couldn't get my delivery down for hours, and we would sit here for hours and hours and hours it's trying like, to get I'm one like, verse down. I'm like, bro, just spit the fucking thing, and he's doing. And it didn't sound right. It, the delivery didn't sound right. So I'm like, you know what? 
fuck this. I'm, I quit. Like, I'm not doing this shit. And anything that could have gone wrong that entire, like, span of a year it or two, wrong. it went wrong. Because I, I couldn't. And it, it just never happened. I never could do that shit. And then one day I just, I'm like, fuck it. I just start writing. And then I pop out like three songs. And it was actually pretty fucking good. Whoa. And from there, kind of just went, listened to different music, started trying out deliveries and doing whatever the hell I want, I guess. I think you definitely have like found your sound, like, you know, from what I've heard. So like, Props to you on that, because some people are still figuring that shit out. I don't, like, you know what I'm saying? I just know some people are still figuring that shit out. So, like, it's good that yeah. they found that. Because, like, that's one thing, like, as an artist, you definitely need to know is, like, what, like, you're, you, everyone has, like, a tone of voice. Like, all of the good, like, artists, famous artists have a tone of voice that, like, they're known for. It's not just, like, they're bars. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you could is, recognize them at the, yeah. Exactly. Like, oh, home sounds like this. The Empire State of, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Yeah, or, like, yeah. or, like, uh, fucking. Or, like, like old dirty bastard. Like, you. Oh. Shimmy, oh, shimmy, yeah, yeah, shimmy, yeah, 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 shimmy, yeah. Give me the mic so I can take it away. <laughs> that's like what I did, bro. Yeah, that sounds fire, though. Have you seen uh, Breaking Bad? Yeah. There's that scene where he's cooking meth to that someone. That shit was a fire scene. Dude. She was bass as fuck. So, um, now this this is uh something. Is that today the the truck show, the skate park show? Yeah, yeah, that's that, today. What, what what uh uh this will be out like after that happens. But like, uh, what's gonna be going mm-hmm. on? I'll I'll speak on it because I'm the one that kind of threw it basically. Yeah. We we decided that he decided it's just I was sitting there. Last show got canceled. I didn't get to fucking perform. I want to perform. There's a skate park right there. There's a weekend's coming up. It's still summer. We have nothing to do. I have a karaoke machine. Let's just fucking throw a show. So this motherfucker's like, I'm down. Lake's down. Polo's down. Everybody was like, fuck it. Let's just do it. So we're going to see how it goes. Latte's going to be there. It was. <laughs> Dude, he's hard as fuck, it was bro. it was the most uh last minute everything, everything we do is last minute oh Probably god it's soaked oh that god. you getting on the show i dropped my first song on the way to my first show your deliveries are last minute too this motherfucker yeah. will write something he's like i'm gonna do this delivery then he gets on the mic and then he and just it just happens. i feel it in the moment and shit just happens I'll be fucking each other up with those shows. Yeah, I'll be seeing the videos and shit. <laughs> <laughs> we go crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely some. That was some. Don't get into the, almost around. broke my ankle the first time. We don't want to get into the the, the Ridgely drama. Ridgely drama. God damn it! Bro, that's just so- <laughs> I, I don't know if anyone's heard about uh, the shit that happened at the at the Ridgely room, Ridgely Theater, We're Ridgely the Lounge. lounge. What well, was it? The lounge. It was the lounge room. Uh, we just got kicked out. Just a yeah, really strict ass venue. Mosh uh, pits way too hard. Shit was getting broken. Getting overwhelmed. Someone got tackled. Dove. The mic ripped out. Someone ripped out of the mic and broke. Uh, someone dove off stage, tackled a dude, and got us all kicked out. Shit was fucking insane. Who was performing there? Fucking. Ooh. Uh, everyone performed on that show. Everyone, uh, all our, all our circle, me. Actually, he didn't even get to perform. We got kicked out before his set. I did one song with him, and I did one song with yeah. Wizard. Shout out Wizard, bro. Shout out Wiz. I need me some Wiz. Oh, God. <laughs> He's gonna Wiz. watch us. We love fuck you. <laughs> nah, we love Wiz. Now, with the um, Criminalistic and Madhouse show, with, you know, Rabbit, Kruger, all of them, Explain that uh, show, how it went down, how lit it was in your experience there. Luna was there, Threads wasn't, but yeah. Well, I got there, and I was tired as fuck. I was hungry, and the doors weren't open to the venue, and I was like, this sucks. And I got it. We did, like, sound check or whatever. We chilled, and then the show started. It was cool, and no one was really lit. And then out of nowhere, Zach Rabbit's like, let's open this motherfucker up. And they starts like swinging on people and like the crowd opens and I was like, yo, what? And I'm in that bitch bouncing. 
dead hippie and everybody. Everyone's swinging, jumping, screaming through. He's like, Rabbit's like pulling the, like, here's the stage. And there's like a little like fence around it. He's like pulling it. He's like climbing and diving. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? And then I had to go outside and take a breather. And there's my fucking cocaine Kruger with a cigarette. And I was like, yo, you're Kruger, right? Because I've never even seen this dude's face. He's like, yeah. I was like, bro, I am a fucking fan. And we talked for like 30 minutes. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I fuck with you. I showed him shit off the tape. He's like, I fuck with you for real. He gave me a follow back on Instagram. I was like, bro, what? Anyway, the show, Criminalistic Records, they went way over time. Like, they went way over time. And they got, and no one else got to perform after them. Like, Madhouse didn't get to perform. Like, I performed because I went before him, but Madhouse didn't perform. So the venue was like, we're calling the cops in two minutes if y'all don't get outside right now. And Dead Hippie, he's like, fuck that. Play the next one. And Shadow Star plays some shit. And we're all on stage just moshing, like, fuck the venue. And I was like, bro, this is hard as fuck. And then we went outside. You know my sister Issa Bug? I think I heard it. Yeah, I think we talked about Yeah, her her and Sly raced and she got fucking dusted. Sly was light jogging on her. And that shit was funny. And then we went back to the B and B. And then I went home and that was that show. That shit was crazy. That like uh oh my god, like I that I I would kill it. I would have killed the gun, man. Like but like that show. I, I really wanted to get that shit. I hope that there's like another one like that soon. And like Kruger being, I, I really want to see Kruger perform because he's like one of my favorite artists. Like, bro, um, he is rare as fuck. I, I was, I was at the 420 Fest at the Halton Theater, bro. I was high as fuck. And Coast is like, Co Craig Kruger's on it. And I was like, bro, you're lying. This dude is one of my idols. There is no way. I don't know if you heard my new shit, but that beat, you can tell the 808s are so inspired from like, Kruger's like harder beats, yeah, so it was like a full circle like, moment yeah. for me. With Lurk, that that John with Lurk, that shit was crazy. Like, that motherfucker's like, hard, bro. Like that, like that shit. That like, shit is know, hard. Like, we'll talk. About Have you heard? Song. I bet you wish you stayed at home. I bet. With the uh, that song, um, shoot to kill. That that was yeah. Shoot to kill. Yeah. Shoot to kill. Uh, released as far as I know of a self produced song by you, Luna. Um, are we gonna hear more of that in the future? More self-produced stuff? In the well, you already said what I was inspired by was Krug, right? Most so, yeah. definitely gonna hear more self-produced stuff, bro. I, I've only been doing it for like three weeks, but I'm already kind of mean with it, bro. That was one of my first beats, but some of the newer shit I got in the vault, I don't even be showing the gram the hard shit because you gotta wait to hear the shit I got coming, bro. Yeah, this motherfucker's got a vault of music. He has a plethora of unreleased. A plethora. Songs. I must, I must use the word plethora because this dude has so much heat in the vault. I have it said, smidgen. A smidgen of music, dude. You got like smidgen tapes worth of music. Uh, I don't know about that one. You got a lot of motherfucking. We got, we both got drops to come, just ready to go, submitted and ready. I'm excited. So we're gonna talk about, um. Well, I'll ask if you guys do a tape. We'll 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 get to that later. But with the song, we were just talking about that last night. Yeah, with with mm-hmm. the song, um, I forget what song it was, but it was on Texas Tyrant, and there's that like AK forty seven sample. You know what I'm talking about? It's Enigma. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, here it is. It's yeah, Enigma. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Sam- do you know where that sample comes from? Whether the girls talking about the AK forty seven or no? You know what that from came the- from girls with guns. Yeah, and that's you know what from, that is. Uh, nah, but I know that that shit was in Jackie Brown, the Quentin Tarantino movie too. Have you seen mm-hmm. that movie? It's a Quentin. It's a it's a yeah. It's a Quentin Tarantino short film, Girls with Guns. And I'm like, this is way too tough. Yeah. So then I heard it. I was like, oh shit, like. Luna knows mm-hmm. about I'm tapped he's in, bro. He's tapped in. Or anything by Quentin Tarantino is fire. So, uh, Threads, like, what um films are you inspired by, like, when it comes to music? Or, like, non-music media inspires you music? As far as uh, movies, it's actually kind of funny. I, I just made a beat uh, <laughs> that was the, the um, Shaboom beat. <laughs> I made this shit. I made this beat. Then I'm about to start right into it. 
you know the Shaboom song from Cars, like Lightning McQueen type shit. The fucking life yeah, yeah. could be a dream if I could yeah, take yeah, you yeah, up. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I just made a beat with that sample, and I'm about to start writing to it soon. Um, as far as movies that inspired me, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even watch like I don't want, I don't even watch TV like that to be honest. What about Luna? What, what think, inspired yeah. your uh, work, like in terms of movies or anything besides Tarantino? The number one thing is Child's Play, <laughs> motherfucking oh, yeah. Chucky, bro. Yeah. I am Chucky. Luna is Chucky. I also yeah, fuck with hella comedies. If you see him, music is like, oh shit, he loves Chucky. Talking that shit, but it can't seem to get to me. Feel like I'm Chucky. My Blake name is Tiffany. You know, funny story about that. The bar was feel like I'm Chucky. My bitch name is Tiffany, and he's the one who was like Blake. Name is Tiffany. I was like, damn, that's hard. Oh, God, I was in the studio, it. and the engineer put the little gunshots on. I was like, Oof, that shit's that shit's hard as fuck. That's doing hella numbers right now. Speaking of uh, horror bars and shit, I think it was, uh, it was Pistol, wasn't it? Yeah, Pistol. <laughs> Probably one of my hardest bars ever. It said, uh. Murder chainsaw, like my face it's made of leather, leather, like leather face, Texas chainsaw massacre type shit. It's like he's from uh, Texas, so it's like yeah. murder chainsaw, like, like my, my face, face made, made of leather. leather. <laughs> shit was kind of nasty. Yeah. So, we were talking about, um, like how much shit you guys have like together working on that. So, like, um, when will there be a collab project between you two? Actually, we're we're. We were talking about this last night, uh, and we've been talking about doing a uh, collab tape, like a little EP for a while, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's dropping. <laughs> Drop date, Friday the 13th in October this year. We're pushing yeah. it back a little bit, yeah. this motherfucker needs to grow a little, this motherfucker needs to, yeah. grow, needs to grow a little more, and I put out Texas Pirate 2. Y'all only got the first part of the trilogy, bro. So, is that like, is Texas Tyrant 3 going to be that? The There's going to be three of them. No. No, that's no. a separate that's thing. That's his thing. shit. That's gonna be... Yeah. Texas, you're going to get three tapes. I don't I don't have any dates. I don't have any songs. There, of them. There's one day we have. I mean, for Texas Tyrant. Yeah. That's just like nobody likes four fucking tapes of like the same thing because like yeah no I'm doing three yeah and then I'm switching to Underground Enigma like Chubby Red I'm making tape five a love letter to use I love letters oh my god we should have stopped at three bro the third one was so good the first one was my favorite though fourth is all right but it's like I don't we don't need a fifth one bro like you know what I'm saying like but um, his music's not even the same anymore it doesn't make sense to carry the trilogy. Like he makes a whole different sound now. Yeah, exactly. Like, like shit. I like, I like his music. Like, like you know, what I'm saying he's still. It was good for it was good for the time. Yeah. It was just a different time now. Now it was just he's a different like, time. Now he's doing like uh, the opium. The fuck, fuck opium. I don't care. Like, let's just add. Like, but, but, but. Anyway. Hey, Carson is the hardest motherfucker in that clip. All right, all right, never mind. Yeah, ain't you can, Carson, ain't you team, eggs, bro. Don't sleep on Ken. Ken Ken's okay. I like Ken Carson. I just don't like Play Bacardi, but that's a whole nother. I just hate him, but. um. I fuck with Cash Cardi, bro. Don't fuck with Cardi <clears throat> a God. What about, you guys know about Cardi a God? What about, what about Sir Cartier? <laughs> the old bullshit. Is. Yeah. So threads, if you were to work with any dead artist, who would you work with? Yeah. Oh man, it's gotta be a nineties rapper. Um I'm not gonna say Biggie with the fuck. I couldn't see that. Um, dead. Shit. I got a couple in mind. You go first. You go first. I want to work with fucking 
so generic. When I want to work with Lil Pete, bro, that dude's like the way his yeah. mixes is so hard. And I already know he would be so tough on a hook. Flex. Crazy. Because he was in that scene. I got right? it. Like, like, like that darker scene back bro, then. Bro, he lived a life. He literally shared a house with everyone in Schema Posse and Thrax now. Yeah. Even though Schema nah, was over, that was a great era. You know what I'm saying? The shit that I would kill for, a collab with DMX, bro. Hey. That's a I always Really? Bro. Slug is delivery. Oh, God. All like a five yeah. five Bro, some DMX shit would go so hard. Make me a really good answer. Mine was so generic compared to yours. Yeah, like, like DMX is so far. Like, I'd be blasting that shit at work. You know what I'm saying? Watching oh, it. God. Shit, shit. Like, that shit. We'd be bumping, oh, in, the, we'd be bumping in the Ranger. In the Ranger. In the Ranger. In the motherfucking four fucking Ranger. And shit was so, like, um... Like... There was, a, like, in terms of, like, New York shit, like, there's the lyrical, like, you know what I'm saying, Nas type shit, but what 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 good New York rap is, is, like, the Wu-Tang, the fucking, like, DMX shit, like, the real intense gangster shit. It's like, that, yeah. that, that's, that's what I like. When Diva I got not from the receiver bleeder. Dude, Ghostface Killer, yeah, not Diva Shiva. Diva got rock from the receiver bleeder. Dude, he's, Ghostface Killer is one of the best lyrics yeah, of the whole time. Insane. Yeah. You know what? You know what I think. Uh, who sleep on from um, Wu Tang though is uh, Inspector mm-hmm. Deck and like Sarface, because you know like Sarface, like the guy who oh, works with um, MF Doom. That's Inspector Deck. Like and and, and MF like, Doom a is Sarface. a collab I would want. MF Doom, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, he's a genius here. Yeah. Oh god, yo, I don't know if we can ask a question, but I have a question for Threads. If you it could have one make person make a beat for you. Who would it be? That's a good I got point. like, I got a pretty good list in my head of who I would want. Like, I got like a three or four people. Uh, like, who are the best besides A Pug, A Pug, A That or Ryan C himself. Ryan, have you heard? Um, it's a shame by Freddie Dread. I think so. Yeah. That be a parts. Yeah. And also, or I would love to eat a 10-gauge beat. Fucking... This is a weird one, but 20, 2015 Kevin the Creep. Like, old... Do you guys know who Kevin the Creep is? Yeah. I see that, honestly. Like, old Kevin Bro, the Creep. He was working with Hulk. But also a cult. Like, I think people sleep on a cult. I think a cult's fire. Cult is hard. Like, um, this is one more fucking thing. Like, also, real shit though, like fucking old, like old, like if I could go in a time machine and like fucking uh, Tommy Rock the Third, like in 1995, like if I could like go back in time and be like, yo, I'll pay you five hundred dollars for a beat, and shit. You know what I'm saying? And and he hits and he gets the Boss DR660 drum machine and shit. You know what I'm saying? That would be fire. Bro, you oh, know my, to answer the part, you know my dream producer? Who's that? The Alchemist. Yeah, yo, let's go. Shit. The Alchemist is nuts, bro. Or Clams. Clams Casino, did you say Clams Casino? Clams Casino, yeah. bro. Yeah, he, he knows how to make cool styles, too. Like, like, but, but, but the cloud, but his, like, old cloud rap sound, like, like nobody can fucking beat that shit. Like he he's a. Uh... It's Mr. Pistol Papa screaming fuck a copper. I just got a crispy chopper finna fuck your block up, block up. Oh, that song is so fucking tough, bro. Facts, yeah. Like he's he's a he's he's a special producer for for the underground, definitely. And then the whole cloud rap sound without him and like. B and Cardia God and like fucking like ASAP Rocky and shit like that. Oof, ASAP Rocky's on my dream collab list. Yeah. ASAP Sissy Pony. Anyways. ASAP Sissy Pony. <laughs> That's what Space Coast Perp called. Me. <laughs> Anyways, um, shit. So I got some questions for Luna. Um. Well, we already kind of covered the collabs that, you know what I mean, if you, you work with them and shit like that. Um, 
what like could, would you say people should get from Texas Tyrant? You finished that project, it's out. Uh, what was your like favorite song to work on, and what would you hope like people get from that project, like the message or shit like that? See the the year long the song that it took like a year to make. Definitely, I would say my favorite song is either Nightmare with Runa or Angel. Angel is insane, bro. I'm a huge Lana Del Rey fan, and the way Ivy Death made that fucking beat is nasty. Oh you know, my god. Like, to get into on Angel, the first verse is like you're, you're dating a girl and she's like starting to ghost you low key. And it's like, well, come on, bash me before you run out of time. Blow me in my cast and off my goodbyes. Like that, like the relationship's over. And then the second verse is like, I'm doing my shit, but like I still think of you. Like, like I'm fucking these sluts, but none of these bitches will ever be you. Like, like I'm doing, I'm doing like whatever I want, but like. I still want that person type shit. You know what I mean? And it's not about anyone in like, it's not about like someone certainly, but it's like, it's about just like the feeling of like, I'm sure everyone's felt that feeling, bro. When they go through a breakup, they're like, damn, like that's the yeah. one person that gets me. Like, I don't ever want to lose that person in my life. So it's like, I just was like, you know what? That's how I was feeling when I wrote that song. So I was like, I'm just going to fucking put it. I'm just going to do it. And that beat just complimented it. But what well, you should get out of Texas Tyrant I feel like that's that's just Luna, bro. That's just me being me. Like I just made six Luna songs. I wasn't like, let's make this sound. Like this was just what I wanted to do. And then I got in the studio, so I got the good. Like my vocals sounded good, and I tapped in with producers. I was like, yeah, I can make the shit I want to make. So all my verses on that on that tape are quality, bro. That's I feel like not even just being confident because that's me, but I feel like that's one of the most slept on tapes of this year in the underground. Oh yeah, that like that was definitely a great project to go underground and shit, and and everybody came through on that one too with the verses and shit. Um, I think I might do that like a top ten underground tapes of the year, and I'll put that on there. No, no doubt. I'm just like, yeah. so um, don't put it unless you genuinely feel that way. If you feel that way that it's up there, I would definitely appreciate that. But don't just gas me up. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But though, you're That's speaking right. on the Lana Del Rey sample. That shit, like Lana Del, you said there was a like Lana Del Rey sample. What song was that in? West Coast. That's so, been my favorite song of all time for two years. But I've loved that song for like four years. A lot of people will do that, like that sample shit. Like it's one. Of, she's one of the best artists. I've ever. never, I've never heard, I've never heard someone sample that song from her in the underground. Not, not, not that song specifically. Um, like I'm just saying, like I've only heard, I've only heard one other song that samples Lana or Lana. <laughs> Think of Lana the plug out of twenty two. Yeah, uh, fuck. Who's his name? Uh, Lil Nar is doing a song with a the cover is a picture of a Lana the plug biting the sheets as she's getting pounded <laughs> in the ass. Yesterday, she posted yesterday that she was uh, making a video with him, the same dude that uh, she cut Adam, Adam with. Dude, and Adam bought her a Lambo. Bro, low-key, I respect the fuck out of Adam 22. Because, like, bro, you got you got a bag off of that. Like, you're letting the internet bully you, but you're living off that. Your views are the highest they've been since Suicide Boys and X were on your podcast. People so, honestly. hate on him, but he's, bro, he's pimping her out. Like, all right, she was pimping him out. Bro, you know and, and together, and they've been swingers, bro. So him and her together have fucked at least 500 bitches. Because he has a whole podcast where he brings on porn stars and fucks them. So it's like, I don't know, bro. Is it really? It's not that it's bad for her to just fuck one time. guy. It's not the first time she's fucked someone else. No, yeah, sure. no. Like, 100%. I can tell, like, uh, like, that's the thing, though, is they just pimp each other out. They're swingers. You know what I'm saying? You ask, like, rich old people, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you know rich old people, or you just, like, they, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people do that shit all the time, bro. Like, that's a, but, like, I'm not saying it's a key to That's a normal marriage. couple thing in America. That's just, yeah, like, a normal yeah, thing in America, bro. And even in, even since, like, thousands of years ago, kings and queens, Everybody was fucking each other. Like even King James was fucking by Everyone was, was fucking each other, bro. Seventies type shit in the seventies type shit. They were bro. fucking. In the they 70s. were fucking in the seventies. The population bro. had to go up like <laughs> even our own president, yo. Like presidents, like like fucking um. What's, what's his name? John Trump was fucking. Trump Maryland. was fucking. Yeah, JFK. JFK, bro. He's a pin. the fucking the tunnels and shit. Biden. The tunnels and shit, bro. Fucking. 
Biden is a fucking bro. Fuck Biden. You know, Biden's you know. not. He's just an idiot. He just got dementia. That's it. Can't even finish his sentence, bro. <laughs> is that the vaccine? Are you okay? Uh, well, I got vaccinated. I'm yeah, so no, 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 the, the, uh, ain't so dead he, yet. So he was on an interview or something like that, and somebody talked about how they got the vaccine, and he asked the person who got the vaccine, he was like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you healthy? You know, and he's like, oh, no, it works. The, the vaccine works. Or some shit like that. It was so fucking weird. Anyways, not on top of politics. But yeah, shout out Adam22. He's a pimp. Len is pimping him out. <laughs> oh. He's pimping Len out. Healthy marriage. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> healthy marriage. Yeah. So, um, do you guys both have any announcements or messages for supporters uh, before we wrap this up? You the person me. Shit. Um, songs dropping every week. Uh, in life and death. You can hear me spit a bar. Uh, Stop never it. stopping. Weekly dropping. Take an hour pause. Weekly dropping. Uh. So you just came out. What's next? Probably the play. Play guitar is probably next. Right, I guess we'll it was hard as fuck. Some emotional ass shit in that song. And so. I produced the motherfucking song. That beat is crazy. Shout out Beach House. That I killed that sample. Though. Oh God. Um, for my announcements, music wise, I'm dropping another song this coming weekend because I was like, you know what? I've never really weekly dropped, so I just put three songs out that I've had in the vault. Just like you get a weekly drop, you get a weekly drop, you get a weekly drop. But that's just a July thing. I'm gonna go back to probably like I'll, I'll definitely be dropping more, but I'm not gonna be dropping every weekend. But um, I got a show in Houston at the end of this month. Obviously, we have a show today. I completely forgot about that show in the yeah. last few minutes. What time is it? It's fucking. Should probably start getting ready soon. It's three forty-five. It'll leave in two hours. Two minutes up the road. <laughs> But um, I'm going. Have you seen that house? Like, pass it, ran Kostak and saw me. They're going on another tour. No, but I, but I I have like some more availability to like go see these. So I will try. Uh, I'm going. Out. I'm going to be at the Houston date July. There's, there's a Houston one and a Dallas one. There's a Houston one, Dallas one, Arizona. There's also one in. Yeah, in Iowa. I think it's Iowa. I have I can look at the flyer. I took a screenshot of it. So I showing the, the date's not uh the date on that one isn't there's there's Dallas. Oh, oh there's Hollywood. Hollywood. Forgot about that. There's Hollywood. Dallas in Arizona. I'm gonna be on the Houston one. And I don't think I'm gonna be on the Dallas one, which is weird because I'm normally on like all the Dallas shows, but I'll be on the Houston one. Well, I need to go to Arizona. Their Arizona crowds are crazy. Arizona or Madhouse has a following in Arizona, bro. Like, Arizona, I'll be looking at my analytics, and I'm like, Arizona, fucking. I think they are. You know, at the no, end of this like, last year, they did a show with like Six Foot Slim, Ren Costa, Cold Blooded. I think Dottie Gas is on it. Chris Travis. They had a big ass show in Arizona. Okay, that shit was hard, bro. I want to work with Cold Blooded. No, he's very he's dope to talk to. I've had him on the podcast. I've talked to him. This dude is he's a cool dude, bro. Yeah, he's a, he's a um he's an underground historian. Like he's just a rap historian. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, he knows so much knowledge about rap. This dude, this he's dude genius. has been in the game for so long. Facts, yo. And he's um in that like uh, I think he's in that Vegas area. You know what I'm saying? That, like Southwest. Yeah, Arizona. he's in Vegas. If you ever out there, you know what I'm saying? He's probably doing shows and shit. Um. Hey, shit, I got family up there. I should probably pop out to a show up there. Yeah. Bro, you know who's in you know who's in Arizona or Vegas? Who's in Vegas, dude? Yeah. No, yeah. I'm, I saw the video. I'm I saw not gonna say the name. I already yeah, said it. But yeah, yeah. Me and that, me and that, that I know what you're talking about. All right, though. The, yeah. Thank you. I mean it's so cool now though. Thank you for coming on the show though. This is a great this is a better episode. Sure. Sure. No no technical oh, difference. Oh it's definitely my oh, god. Definitely. Um. Now we'll link. We'll link your music in uh, socials in the description. Obviously, like, comment, yeah. share, subscribe to you saw. And if you're on Apple Podcasts listening to this, please leave a rating. And um, thank you for coming on the show. Peace out. Oh God, brother.